tail. Swing your arms down, relax. In a moment, you will open your eyes and see that you are at Horsepath Track. You came here for a night run. Your muscles are in need of a run, and you're looking forward to this immensely. When you open your eyes, you will see that it is a clear night. The field is lit with incandescent light from the lampposts, and the track is a dark, muddy red. You have the entire place to yourself. Now, in your mind, open your eyes and begin, very slowly at first, very easily, to run. Wait, where are you running to? see some runners actually try and follow that. I doubt it would happen, but... Mm, that experiment made me so relaxed. I slept like a log. That bed doesn't suck either. You're quite mad. Oh, hi Houdini. We don't care about you today, and yet you still have the same carrot. I never eat the carrot. I just Oh, that. you're up. I was about to go and wake you. Good morning, Mrs. Dalton. Smells wonderful. And I'm so, going to put a cup in my still here, then. Yep. Still here. Got on all right with Dr. Stiles? He's a toad, yeah. but I've dealt with worse. It's fine. Glad I am to hear it. He needs things done, and seems like you could use the job. Why? Did he say something about me? Well, not to me. He's not even up yet. He doesn't sleep at night, you know. Sometimes I don't see a lick of him before noon. Sorry to hear that. Did he leave instructions for me? Well, he might have done down in the lab. Oh, and someone left this paper on the step this morning. Must have been a mistake. We don't take paper. You have it if you like. Oh, Thanks. Mmm, cool. that was delicious. Especially the cup in my forehead. I never get over having a cup in my forehead. Alright. Prank at horse pack path almost blinds custodian. Crop circles in Oxford. An elaborate- Horse path track? That's the track we imagined last night. How weird. Hmm, this is not good. I need to look into this. Okay. An elaborate and bewildering ruse occurred at the horse path athletics track last night. Someone adorned the gravel path with an elaborate pattern. The crop circles at Oxford. Seems that the pranksters may have been inspired by a crop circle conmen, but the horse path director was not impressed, especially since one of the maintenance personnel was nearly injured. Um, some of these kind of more fuzzy ones is. He killed for his video game. <laughs> I need to look into this horse path. Yeah, I can tell. I, you told me that. I need to look. Alright. Betray's Price Part 2. Strange events of the track. Mysterious Dr. Styles. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sam plays lab assistant. Sam gets carded. Chapter 2 bonus. Alright. Anything in here. Oh, she's actually going to the window. It looks a bit gloomy out there. It always looks a bit gloomy because it's... It's what's it called? It's, um, not real England. <laughs> Stereotypical England. Alright, anything new up here? That ca so yeah, the calendar's out of date, blah, 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 blah. It's a card for a psychologist. Oh now that's God. a... I totally need to see a psychologist. I don't know. With a name like Hellborn, I don't think I would want to see him. You are born of hell. Work out what's wrong with my mind. Do, 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 do. Oh. This place is kind of weird down here. He has a wine rack. Mm. Let's check out his rack. Oh, Sam, what is it with you today? You're a bit hilty jilty. You are very hilty jilty. What what time have we got now? 
And why much? This one well probably costs more than I've made in the past five years. Yeah, but maybe he hasn't drank it. Okay, we're just gonna pause just to see if that fixes my little shelter skelter problem. All right, and we're back. So I'm just gonna have a little save. All right, resume game. All right, let's wait. Main lab, private lab, heads. Nice effect seeing those faces look down at you from the darkness. Maybe I can incorporate something like that into my act. How? I'm not asking. Um, not gonna happen. Not without a few sticks of dynamite, anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Hurry up, Sam. Sam, you'll be that late for must school. be where Dr. Stiles keeps his past victims. Oh boy. Huh? Ah. To the main. Wait, that door totally made a noise without it being anywhere near it. Alright. It looks like a full body medical scanner. Must have cost a fortune. Ah, oh, probably nothing in the Dr. Stiles um, stuff. Crow! Someone in the Stiles' family had a thing for stuffed birds. That one's just plain evil. Yikes. The shape of some of those is a little odd. I wonder if they had abnormal brains. Maybe they did. Maybe they belonged to these jars. Oh, she's gonna have a look at them. Hmm. You never know when you're going to need a spare brain. Exactly. 2002? Someone's a pack rat. Hmm. That's the woman from the portrait in the hall. Wonder if he knows. Oh, dead roses. Those dead flowers are pitiful. Hmm. I guess Styles doesn't let Mrs. Dalton clean down here. Um. Oh, this boy. is your brain on a blackboard. Nice. Miss Everett, as mentioned, I need you to sort my files. That was the reason for your employment. Instructions are as follows. And follow in general. File the folder by the first letter of the tab, except if it's a publication of mine, file it under P for publications. If it concerns Oxford, file it under O. And I don't expect you to finish today, but do something that isn't straining. Uh, but do begin if that isn't too straining for you. I want to sort those files before Dr. Charm gets up. Straining me too awfully, my ass. Yeah. Alright. Dear Dr. Stiles, we're in need of a contractor's report for the equipment you donated to the FBRIB Center at John Radcliffe Hospital in 2002. This is the fifth notice we've sent you for the past two months. Please send me the receipts by Friday at the latest, as it is required by our auditors. I should keep my eyes open for that contractor's report. Yes, we can be helpful. I should. Um, textbooks. A little light reading? No thanks. Ah, to the file cabinet. Hmm. All right. We can do that. All right. Art and the brain. Okay. E science. E. Organic life. Wait, is there any way that I can tell if this is a publication of his? To be or not to be? MRI. Pu okay. Published. So that's a publication. My way on the highway. How not to work. Why do you keep these files? These are ridiculous names. Lobotomy. Yellow lights, a science at the crossroads. There, that was fast. Yes. And now I can snoop. What fun. Ooh. What are these ones? Scientific okay. articles and stuff. Okay. Nothing exciting. Nothing ex science. Nothing ex scientific articles and stuff. Aha! Nothing exciting in here. Nothing exciting. Extraordinary powers of ordinary this minds. This should be enlightening. Yes. 
Wait, if this is a publication of his, it should be under P. Ha 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 ha! We've all heard news that we only use a tenth of the capacity of our brains, but why is that and what intrigues, intriguing possibilities lay in these dormant sections of grey matter? Ta! Name drop. There are seven billion, uh, there are billions of neural connections in the brain. When an infant is born, their neurons are still sending out test flares to other neurons engaging the responses. Our brains prune, prune connections that aren't productive and strengthen connections that are. The early years in which we experience our world sets our neural wiring for life. All right. Yeah. Dr. Stiles, Dr. Stiles writes well, but I don't believe in psi powers or the paranormal or any... Oh, you will by the end of this game, no doubt. Uh, there are entire networks of potential connections that aren't used because in our infant life we did not find need for them. We find proof in extraordinary cases where a boy who was blind from birth and developed bat like ability to sense objects. He could ride his bicycle at terrifying speeds despite his lack of sight. Um, our species continues to evolve new mental powers. Scholars believe that in ancient Greeks did not see as many colours as we do today. Uh, an early Christian historian commented on how brilliant St. Augustine was because when he read to himself, you couldn't see his lips move. Okay. Because when he read to himself, you couldn't see his lips move. Goodness sakes. Um, fields outside neurobiology give us clues to the potential of the brain. Physics have shown that our brain has special relationship with the world of matter when we are not perceiving a sub atomic particle it is a wave but when a brain wave turns its attention to it the particle changes form behaving like solid matter in the areas of psi research scientists have demon demonstrated not demonstrated um, that the brain is capable of abilities that have no explanation according to the current understood picture of the brain or even that event of time and space in the next 50 years, we will discover how extraordinary our minds to be, how deeply connected our brains are to a physical reality and vice versa, and how we awaken new potential within the human mind. Dr. Style. That's nice. Yep. Oh, food Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. Okay. MRI delivery receipt. The neurobiology department is looking for a report on an fMRI donation. Ding, this ding. must be it. I should get this to Susan Whittier at the Neurobiology Department. Okay, cool. Um... Haitian case file. Haitian nothing case file. Nothing ex... Uh -huh. Nothing ex... Nothing ex... Nothing Linkweller. Well Something written by Dr. Abraham Linkweller. This might be interesting. Honorary powers of extraordinary minds. Wow. What? Wow. This looks like a very pointed attack on Styles' Scientific American article. That had to hurt. Mm. Some of my misguided colleagues have claimed that the human brain will develop extraordinary abilities in the future, going as far to insist that it will happen in the next 50 years. This is the worst kind of pseudoscience and magical thinking. The truth is that there is no evidence that our brain has undergone any serious evolution since we hunted with bow and arrow and drug to kill, uh, drug our kill back to the cave. Drug. Okay. Uh, the drive for shelter, food, sex, and security are fundamental to our society as they ever were. As we evolve problems the same way, not by developing supernatural powers, but by good old-fashioned cognition, when our modern world made swift travel over long distances desirable, did we evolve the ability to fly? No. We used the same mental thought process as we invented the wheel to invent the airplane. Except, according to all... Um, Current theories of aerodynamics, none of them agree with each other. We have no idea how aeroplanes work. Or why they work. We know that they work, we just don't know why. What keeps them up in the air? Bucket if I know. Uh, the scientific reality is that the brain is well understood that it doesn't have any extraordinary powers and doesn't need any. The ordinary brain is miraculous enough. 2002. Haitian mm. case. Nothing. Nothing. Hello? Nothing exciting in. Nothing exciting. Nothing ex- This lists everyone in the department. Hmm. Radically from Infirmary. Cynthia Bartlett. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Hmm. David Stark. It's an old phone list of the staff in the neurobiology department. Hmm. Fancy. Um. Haitian. Uh, nothing exciting. 
Nothing. Nothing. Haitian. Scientific. Haitian. Science. Nothing. Science. Okay, okay, I get it. Boring, boring, boring. Apparently. Um. To the main basement hole. Let's go to the private lab. The main lab and the private lab. Mo labs. The door's locked. Oh. Then meets the eye. Um. Oh, what time is it? Alright, we're going to end uh, this episode here, and uh, we'll see you guys next time for more Grey Matter. Bye-bye! <laughs>